of Central Oregon. Our favorite time of the week. When I see Lynn, I know that it's Friday. That always puts a smile on my face to I'm see your, you. I'm your calendar timekeeper, uh -huh. right? I yeah. like it. That's good. And every other Friday, we get a paycheck, too. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Now we know how your thought process is. No, I love to see these little critters that you bring in. And you've got some adorable ones here. I with do, you. and I want to double check names. So you have Patch, okay. and I have Meadow. Oh. These guys are really, actually, they're very social and sweet. They're uh -huh. only three months old. So, mm -hmm. of course, that means they've got a lot of life to live. Yeah. They most often live um, it, it with good care, six to eight years um, for some of them. Yeah. Um, but I do kind of have a little PSA about oh, guinea pigs right. right now. Okay. And actually, Karen Burns is one of the people who told me that I really needed to get this word out. Okay. So I want everyone to listen. It seems to be a little bit of a kickback from COVID or the pandemic, and a lot of people were getting. Of course, dogs we all know oh, of, but it right. appears that guinea pigs also were one of the popular animals that people got. I think that they didn't realize that, one, they do need care. That's a common reason, you know, kids lose interest and, yeah. you know, the kids aren't cleaning the kennels. Um, but, you know, if you do have guinea pigs and maybe you're having those thought processes if you don't want them, give us a call and we can, you know, really give you some ideas about how you can um, get the kids engaged and make them really fun. Um, but we really want people to try to, they're living sentient beings and of course they deserve to be with their families for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. That was a great public service announcement. <laughs> They are really fun animals. They um, really are sweet. They are. They're smart. They love to be out of the cage and mm -hmm. running around in tubes. And um, feeding is actually really pretty easy to mm -hmm. give them a really healthy diet of hay and some supplements. Um, but again, there's lots of fun things that you can make on, you can find online and Pinterest. Right. So, Good deal. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lynn. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 